Hi, it's uh, it's been a while. <laughs> So, long story short, the series was put on hold for a few reasons. One, I felt awkward as hell filming all my training. Two, there was nothing really to write uh, home about for a long time regarding my training. And three, I kind of forgot lol. But now I'm back and I'm here to tell you guys that I've hit some new PRs to say the least. But before I head into showcasing all my new deadlift PRs, here's a quick installment from today's video sponsor over at Manscaped. This video was sponsored by Manscaped! The global king of men's grooming and hygiene products. Again, Manscaped decided to keep sponsoring this series, which I am incredibly thankful for. So Manscaped offers you everything you need for grooming your entire body. Some of my favorite products include the Lawnmower 4.0 and everything in the performance package. With their skin safe technology and waterproof designs, making shaving super smooth alongside their new super comfortable boxers. And yeah, Manscaped makes boxers now. And it actually surprised me how good they were. They come in six different color combinations, but what seals the deal with these guys is the new jewel pouch, making the boxers insanely breathable. So head on over to manscaped.com and use the code BATGUY for 20% off your entire order and free worldwide shipping. Link to Manscaped will be placed down below in the description. Back to deadlifting. So over the last long proper training block I had, I did lots of volume accumulation, aka just improving my general capacity for training with heavy weight. Then I told my coach I really wanted to hit a massive deadlift PR at the end of my next block. So he made me a 4 week peak and 1 week taper block, which is just a fun way to say that you get strong as shit for a very specific week by lowering the training volume and increasing the training load. And at the end of that week, I was supposed to hit a big deadlift PR. By the way, my old PR was 270 kilos, which I hit back in the summer of 2021. So for me to be happy, I had to at least increase my PR by 10 kilos, which is equal to around 22 pounds, which is a goal I just set for myself. And wouldn't you know it, I definitely hit a big PR at the end of that specific program. But before I show you guys the biggest PR of my entire life, here are some lifts I hit while leading up to that.
So just two days before I was supposed to hit the new Dell SPR, I felt really really strong on the bench press and decided to go for a post injury PR. For those of you who didn't know, I actually tore a part of my pec uh, back in 2021 and haven't been able to bench very heavy since then, but this actually ended up also being an all time PR on my paused bench press. This may not have been the smartest choice in terms of fatigue leading up to a PR on the deadlifts. Uh, I literally trained 16 weeks for that, but this felt very very smooth and I wasn't really tired afterwards so I felt it was fine I guess. Anyways, here's the deadlift you guys been waiting to see, alongside some of my warm up sets. Also yes, I do pull sumo, I just prefer it that way. I can pull approximately the same weight conventional, but I can't really train conventional very often because my back becomes way too fatigued, especially during high volume blocks. So if you dislike sumo, that's fine, I just personally don't care. I just wanted to say and clarify why I primarily pull this way. And that was it. Sorry it took so long to get back into the series. This may or may not have been the final episode before I actually go for the 300 sometime later this year. But I am hopefully competing at a local powerlifting meet soon, so I may film that. Uh, who knows? Thank you guys so much for watching, I appreciate each and every one of you so much. If you want to support the channel, you can leave a like or a comment, it helps out the algorithm, it's free, it takes two seconds. And also make sure to check out the channel's main sponsors down below in the description. We have my protein for supplements and gym accessories, and Gymshark for training clothes. And I also have my own merch if you guys want to check that out. So, again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>